System loss for a standpipe is 25 PSI. Gravity loss, due to elevation differences, is 5 PSI per floor above the ground floor, excluding the fire floor. For example, a 10-story building would only have 45 PSI added to the pump pressure for gravity loss. In this problem, there are two 300-foot, 2.5-inch supply hoses, a gated Y, one 100-foot, inch and three-quarter attack line flowing 200 GPM. Do not forget to use the conversion factor of two for the inch and three-quarter line. To set this problem up, place the known information into the pump pressure equation. Then, determine the FLR for the supply lines and the fire attack line. Do not forget to include system loss, gravity loss, and appliance loss. In this problem, pump pressure equals 100 PSI for a fog tip. System loss is 25 PSI. We'll solve for the friction loss times 3 for 300 feet of hose. The gravity loss is 35 PSI. An appliance loss is 5 PSI and we'll solve for the friction loss rate times 1 for 100 feet of hose on the fire attack line. First we'll determine the friction loss rate for the 2.5 inch supply hose lines. We'll use FLR equals 2 times Q squared. Q will equal GPM divided by 100 and in this case, we'll use 100 GPM, since on the fire ground there's 200 GPM, but we're flowing two lines into the FDC. So Q will equal 1, and the friction loss rate equals 2 times 1 squared, so the FLR for the 2.5 inch hose is 2 PSI. To determine the friction loss rate for the inch and 3 quarter hose line, we'll use FLR equals 2Q squared. Q will equal GPM divided by 100, in this case, 400 GPM will be used because we multiply 200 times 2, the conversion factor for inch and three quarter hose. So Q equals 4, then the friction loss rate equals 2 times 4 squared, or 32 PSI per the 100 foot of hose. So pump pressure equals 100 plus 25 plus 2 times 3 plus 35 plus 5 plus 32 times 1, or simply pump pressure equals 100, plus 25, plus 6, plus 35, plus 5, plus 32, or 203 PSI.